Okay guys, this is a video on the axial muscles and we're going to look at several different models here. <clears throat> Start with the head. This muscle around the eye is called the obicularis oculi. This is the ocular region. This muscle orbits the eye, so orbicularis oculi. This one around the mouth is orbicularis oris orbits the oral cavity, orbicularis oris. We have some muscles on the scalp as well, one here in the front. This is frontalis, and we'll look at the back one in a second. We also have some chewing muscles, muscles of mastication. One goes around the angle of the jaw. This is the masseter. On this side, the masseter has been removed, but we can see our other muscle of mastication, which is the temporalis here. <coughs> Moving down to the neck, we have the sternocleidomastoid. That's the one that basically allows you to turn your head. We can see that one on the other side as well, right here. Go down a little farther. Looking at the chest, pectoralis major pectoralis minor. Right here is your deltoid. We'll do the rest of the arm on a different video. Down here on the abdomen you have your rectus abdominis straight up and down. Rectus abdominis again. Now remember, on the sides of the abdominals, you also have some muscles. These are three layers of muscles. The most superficial is your external abdominal oblique. And notice this is the superficial side of this model. This is the deep side. So we can see our external abdominal obliques here. And on this, the deeper side, we can see our internal abdominal obliques. And then we'll look at our deepest layer, the transversus abdominis, in a second. On the ribs, you have your two layers of muscles between the ribs, which are called intercostals. You have external intercostals here, here, and internal intercostals below that. And the external intercostals don't come all the way around to the sternum. They're going to stop right here at this little pink line. And then you can see the deeper layer of muscles, which are your internal intercostals. Looking on the posterior side of this model, we have our occipitalis on the occipital bone here. We have our trapezius. This is superficial. And if we look over here, we see our one, two, three deeper muscles underneath trapezius. This one off the top of the scapula, which is right here, okay? Superior angle of the medial border, levator, scapulae elevates the scapula, so it's going up. Rhomboid minor, this is the little one. Rhomboid major, the bigger one. We can see the spine of the scapula here. This is our deep side, remember, this is superficial. And we can see our supraspinatus muscle, infraspinatus, so above the spine, below the spine, supraspinatus, infraspinatus. Right here, right underneath the infraspinatus, we have the teres major. I mean teres minor, excuse me, teres minor. And if we turn him just a little, you can see the teres major right here. And we'll look at those again when we do the arm. Teres minor, teres major. Okay, going down the back here. We're going to see our other large superficial muscle, the trapezius, I mean the latissimus dorsi, excuse me. The latissimus dorsi here, large muscle of the lower back. And latissimus dorsi here you can see is cut. You don't have to know these muscles here. You can also see on this model gluteus maximus on both sides, gluteus medius over here. Another view of teres minor and teres major. So trapezius, teres major, I mean teres minor, teres major, 
latissimus dorsi. Superficial, we have levator scapulae, rhomboid minor, rhomboid major, supraspinatus, infraspinatus, and this is your trapezius occipitalis. Wanted to go back to one of the muscles we missed on this guy. This is the serratus anterior. Okay, so that's going to be the one on the side that comes down and attaches to the ribs. It looks like a serrated knife edge. And this one you can also see the teres major peeking out here, deltoid. Okay, this is a chest plate from that first model that we were looking at. I wanted to show you the transverse abdominis here. Remember, transverse is deep. This is the inside of the body. Transverse goes across. These fibers that go up and down are actually part of the diaphragm because remember the diaphragm comes up like a bell, goes over and attaches on the posterior body wall. So if the fibers are going up and you're looking at this sort of a model, then that is the diaphragm. Going across, then that's transverse abdominis. These muscles here between the ribs would be your internal intercostal muscles.